and welcome to my next video. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily make a DIY homemade henna infused oil. This can be used for hair growth, shine, preventing balding, and hair loss from scalp problems such as alopecia or dandruff. Let's get right into the DIY. To make this henna infused oil, you'll need one clean jar with a tight and secure lid, one tablespoon for measuring, one tablespoon of henna powder, and one cup of mustard oil. Henna is a widely used herb in Ayurveda. Henna has been used in Ayurvedic hair care for centuries. This incredible plant can be used for hair growth, shine, preventing balding, and hair loss from scalp problems such as alopecia or dandruff. This gift of nature also has a cooling effect on the scalp, which can help to reduce stress, thus helping to prevent excessive hair fall. Henna is a natural hair conditioner that smooths down the hair cuticle to increase shine and luster, repair damaged hair, plus prevent frizzy and tangled hair. This recipe is to be used for conditioning effects only. This is not meant to color the hair at all. This is the henna powder that I like to use and it's by Star West Botanicals. Mustard oil is also a well-known oil for preventing hair fall in Ayurveda. It's one of my favorite oils to apply directly on my scalp for maximum hair growth. Mustard oil is taken from the mustard seeds. The oil is rich in one of the most important nutrients for healthy hair, like zinc, beta carotene, also known as vitamin A, vitamins E, K, plus omega-3 fatty acids, selenium and B vitamins. These are all very important nutrients when it comes to hair growth, especially the B vitamins like biotin. If you don't have mustard oil, you can also use olive oil, you can use grapeseed oil, almond oil, really whatever you have on hand, that's fine. I chose to use mustard oil for its incredible effects on the scalp to promote hair growth. Also, mustard oil is very well known in Ayurvedic hair care. To make the henna infused oil, take a clean jar and add one tablespoon of henna powder. Then fill the jar almost to the top with the mustard oil. All the henna needs to be covered in oil to prevent molding. Carefully close the lid tightly and shake the jar for 10 seconds to mix the henna and oil better. Then open the lid and make sure that all of the henna is saturated in the oil. All the henna needs to be covered in oil to prevent molding. Then label the jar with the ingredients you used and the date. This will help so that you know when you made this oil infusion. I would recommend storing this for at least two to three weeks to infuse. You can allow it to infuse longer for a stronger infusion. That's what I like to do. I just like to infuse it for a long time, maybe two to three months. Let the henna and oil sit. I kind of forget it's there and it's going to infuse over time. Once a day I turn the jar upside down to help the henna to infuse into the oil. You do not have to do this step. I just like to do this once a day or once every couple of days. This is why it's very important to have a secure tight lid on the jar. You can also put the oil in an applicator tip bottle for easy use. When my henna oil has been infusing for at least two weeks is when I will pour it into the applicator bottle. You can use a stocking to sift out the powder. I apply it directly to my scalp once a week. The henna infused oil nourishes my scalp for 30 minutes. Using my fingertips to massage the oil into my scalp for 5 minutes to enhance hair growth. This powerful oil may help with a receding hairline or bald spots and patches. The henna encourages hair growth while the mustard oil nourishes and moisturizes the scalp and hair follicles. I've noticed since I began using my homemade henna infused oil, my hairline is full of baby hairs starting to grow in. The henna cools my scalp and helps with the occasional headache as well. 
The cooling effect on my scalp is soothing and therapeutic. Too much stress can cause excessive hair fall and using this on my scalp is very relaxing and helps ease my stress level. Anna infused oil can treat the symptoms of dandruff and possibly stop it from happening with regular application of henna infused oil on the scalp. I tend to oil my scalp in sections using the applicator bottle to make it easier and less messy. Regular weekly scalp application of this ancient Ayurvedic hair growth remedy may treat or lessen the symptoms of alopecia, scalp psoriasis, scalp dermatitis, inflammation of the scalp, dandruff, or an itchy flaking scalp. This remedy also strengthens the hair roots and strands due to the protein present in the henna. Once a month I do a deep conditioning root to tip henna oil treatment. Henna has protein that binds to the hair, helping fill in the gaps of the hair caused by damage such as bleaching, coloring of the hair, or heat styling. I saturate the oil into my hair and then make a nautilus bun. I use a plastic hair fork to keep it up and not a metal hair fork since the metal can have a bad reaction with the henna. Then I put a shower cap all over my hair and let that saturate for 30 minutes. I have found that this does not color my hair whatsoever if I leave it in for 30 minutes. Before I wash it out using my no poo hair wash routine. Leaving this oil on for 30 minutes, like I mentioned before, it does not color my hair. I have left it on my scalp and my hair for one hour and I haven't noticed any change in my natural red hair color. I did a henna hair treatment on my hair and scalp yesterday and then washed it out. This is how my hair looks. My hair absolutely loves henna hair treatments. Thank you for watching, I hope that you could enjoy this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I always appreciate the support. I love you guys, thank you again so much for watching. I hope I see you again next Sunday. Bye!